Subhanallah Walhamdulillah La ilaha illallah Wallahu Akbar Subhanallah How did civic start it? Now, what was this used to be before than what you see now? It was a factory of telephone wires. There were no walls like this. There were no glass doors like this. It was just a warehouse with a um, factory atmosphere. You have been with us from the very beginning. You have helped us purchase this building without your help. We are unable to do this. With your help, we were able to purchase the building. December of 2017, we said goodbye to our rental place. And on December 15th, we moved into this building. We started creating programs for the family. And then we started another program. It was called Young American Muslim Youth. These are adult youth that were born and raised in America. What can we do for them to, con to make sure that they have their identity as a Muslim? And Alhamdulillah, we created a program with Dr. Subo's help. We again created for these youth basketball courts donated by none other than our donors like you that donated the money for the basketball courts, for the table tennis courts, for the badminton courts, so that we can have family coming to the masjid to perform as well as the prayers and play and enjoy with the family. We decided that our young youthful children also need a Sunday Islamic school. Islamic education uh, on Sundays is the only time that the kids are exposed to um, Islamic knowledge. It's easy to make friends here and that the teachers are nice. It is an opportunity for them to interact with Muslim friends and also to build on their Islamic education and their characters as Muslims. All these young youth that we are developing, that we are raising, all they are going to be are the next leaders of this masjid. Once we had the school already started with the Sunday school. We decided that in the future, we can take this summer school, summer Islamic school, to after school programs. Now, what we wanted to do, accomplish the needs of our sisters as well as the brothers that come to learn about Quran. We had youthful elders that were coming to the masjid. They wanted to know how they can help. We asked them to communicate and give us their wisdom and how they have helped the other masajids that were in the past that they were helping others. So please come and join us. Look us over what we have created in the one year span that we have been here. You're probably wondering, what are some of the main reasons why someone would want to support an organization like Civic? Let me go through some of the top three reasons that I have on my mind and you may be thinking about as well. The first reason you're probably wondering is, who is this organization and what sort of programs and services do they provide? Every Ramadan, we have an amazing iftar program. Our community gets served by over 50 volunteers every week. Nearly 500 meals are served in a matter of less than 10 minutes. Our community doesn't even have to stand up. They stay seated while our system of volunteers goes and serves everyone. We also have the very first all women's qiyam. This is a very important qiyam we do every year and Civic started it. This gives an opportunity for our mothers, our sisters, our wives, our daughters to have the masjid all to themselves. This makes them feel like a part of the masjid. This system is something that, again, many of the masjid started doing and we love that they're copying it. That's the best form of flattery. The second reason you're probably wondering is, well, who's running this organization? Why should I trust them? Let me tell you a little bit about the board of trustees, the board of directors, our religious director, as well as all the volunteers and committees that make up the Chino Valley Islamic Center. We provide a forum for everyone to do sincere work and to do it in a level of ihsan and excellence. So it's not just volunteer work, but people are building their skills in volunteerism and management while they're doing this work. Every year we have a town hall. In this town hall, we have a very black and white report on our expenditures, our revenues, and where our expenses are. We give our community an exact look exactly where we are. And then lastly, you're probably wondering, how needy is this organization? Why do they need my funds? Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, we've established ourselves here inside this current facility that we purchased for three and a half million dollars back in 2017, and we have a vision to establish even more. We have lots 
a very generous donors in the community who gave us Karda Hassanap loans. Those payments are due. We've extended some and we were able to have some forgiven. But we still have an enormous amount that are due in the next 90 days in the early part of 2019. We also have a parking lot that we're getting ready to finish. We also have many other improvements we want to do. How can you be part of Civic? We have so many committees that you can be part of it. You can be part of, for the Sisters, Women's Committee. For the Sisters or Brothers, Programs Committee. We also have Iqama uh, Committee. For those brothers that want to come and open the masjid and give the iqama and get the masjid ready for the prayers. All of these committees are there for you to come and join them. We have no bars in that. Just come on in, tell us what you can do and how you can help your civic become much more organized. Why should you invest in the Chino Valley Islamic Center? We're here to ensure that not just our sons and daughters, but our grandchildren and their grandchildren remain Muslim, love their religion, and identify themselves. This is the essence of civic. And this is a call to everyone that believes uh, in, in the growth of Islam in America, that believes in progressive institutions that can make a huge difference, to inshallah do what you can to support the Chino Valley Islamic Center. It's a community that I have visited multiple times and alhamdulillah, whenever I have visited this community, I have found that it's not just around brothers. In fact, it's all the elements of the community put together that make this institution. It's a masjid that's it's quite unique. And one of the reasons why it's unique is because it's a very welcoming place for a lot of uh, communities within our community that are not always welcomed in the masjid. This is a center you want to support brothers and sisters filled with activity. I can testify that this is a beautiful community. The people that are managing, managing this institution are doing a great job and I would urge you to support it inshallah. I really just felt that they were uh, extremely uh, organized. I felt that their programs really gave that empowerment to women. If you want to see a model community, if you want to bring people together, you know, people ask and say, how do we bring people to the masjid? Well, I would urge them, all of you, to go out to this community and see what they're doing right. To get behind the Chino Valley Islamic Center with your prayers first and foremost and with your financial support. We want this to be a home. We want this to be our castle of where we raise our children and where we protect our deen and where we grow our message to the folks outside our community as well. With your help, we were able to come up with the ideas that you gave us the ideas to put into use and come up with all these programs. All we need is your support to go forward. So I urge you, please be generous and help us complete our project. Assalamu alaikum.